welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a pleasure to be back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current favorite items. These are items ranging from home deco, as usual, some fashion accessories, some skincare, and just some lifestyle products that I've really been enjoying lately. I hope you guys get some inspiration to go out and purchase some of these items and that you also get some inspiration on how to use and style them. Without any further ado, let's get into today's video. I'm going to start you guys off with the home deco items that I've recently been really, really, really loving. Let's get into it. So the first item I wanted to show you guys, Rafiki, is this stone door stopper. Uh, this is it. Let me just try and zoom in a little bit here. I hope you guys can see it. So it's just a block. It's literally just a block of stone. I'm not sure what type of stone this is. Uh, I don't think it's real marble. I think it's maybe man-made, a man-made stone that they've maybe just compressed into something but this i picked this up from at home so you know when you're a mother guys uh, the last thing you want when your daughter or your son is sleeping is for the door to bang and it startles them awake so this was very important in my house i picked this up from at home it was 399 uh, and i just put it against the door i mean it's a door stop i just put it against the door and it keeps the door from opening and closing shut when it's windy and it also serves as a decorative element i really love it it's got some blue veining over here these little blue patches i love that it's a styling moment but also very functional so i picked this up really heavy it gets the job done and i'm really happy about it so this i got from at home and it's a beautiful show uh, door stop. It's one of those things you didn't know you needed but kind of need and if you need it you must make it most beautiful, right? <laughs> the next item I wanted to show you guys is this sea fennel mask uh, uh, diffuser um, wood, wood, wood top diffuser. I got this at Poetry um, I think I'd like to say it was 400 and something dollars. Really, really, really good. Poetry is the best place to go to if you're looking to fragrance your home with something that is long lasting and luxurious. A little bit pricey, but well worth it. My only issue is that it didn't last long. I don't think this, this went past one month, to be honest with you. I had it in my bathroom for the month or the couple of weeks that I had it there. It smelled like a spa and I really loved it. Uh, what I do think I'll do, I probably won't purchase the bottle again. I'm probably just going to go look for the fragrance oils the refill bottles that I can put in here and hopefully uh, that also works just as well but it was really a nice thing to have I love the way it looks aesthetically it's 10 out of 10 for me and it smells amazing and it's definitely one of those things that you notice when you have in your home so this is also one of my current favorite ways to diffuse and to um, fragrance my home got this from poetry stores so the next item I want to show you Rafiki's is this. This is basically an acrylic tissue box. So we're going into winter here in Namibia. So it means that everybody's going to be um, nursing some type of cold or flu and you're going to be using tissue. So make it functional, but make it fashion. That's what I always say. Got these in the long size. I think this is 450 and then we've got the smaller one for 350 i'll just try and insert both of those so that you guys can see what your options are and you can get those from caribou home i'll put the link bef uh, in the description box so that you can pick these up if you want highly recommend the reason why i designed these under caribou home is because i just couldn't find them anywhere in namibia i searched for almost uh, I think a year and a half before I decided to make these because I just couldn't find a beautiful stylish tissue box anyway. So this works really well and I highly, highly recommend. Okay, Rafiki, the next item I wanted to show you guys are these brass candlesticks. I just picked these up very recently. I think over the weekend I picked these up from at home. They are extra long. Um, I would say this is maybe 30, 30, 30, 30, maybe 40 centimeters, maybe 35 centimeters long. And it's just it's got this brass detail, really beautiful. Again, I always opt for brass because if this drops, it's not going to break. I've got children, they are always playing with stuff. If it falls over, I'm not crying that I've spent all this money on something that's broken. So these are always a good alternative for people who have uh, young children. So I've got this on my credenza currently. I bought them in two. And then I've got this long, extra long taper candle. I purchased these, I can't remember the name of the shop, but it's a little shop um, at Utopia Restaurant in Eros. No, that's actually Klein Vintok. A little shop there in the next, uh, in the rest, uh, just off the right of the restaurant. So they sell these little cute home decor items and I purchased these. So these are extra long taper candles and you just pop that in there and then you place it on your credenza like so. And it's a moment, really love these. Uh, so this is how I'm styling my credenza for this winter and definitely an item that I would pick up, uh, recommend that you pick up just because it's classic, it's timeless, it always works and you can use them at a dinner party, you know, just to add some nice ambience. So highly recommend as well. 
Okay, Rafikis, we are making good progress. Let's move on to the next items. The other items I wanted to show you are these canisters. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, these make me so happy. I actually bought them in a set of three. The third one is too big. I'm not going to be able to carry all three of them, but you can see what these look like. Look at that turtle shell detail over there, this beautiful brown color. They come in three sizes. This is the smaller one, the middle sized one, then another bustier round one. And I purchased these from my home. They were different prices. Uh, I can't remember how much this one was. Let me quickly see if I can get the price of the smaller one. So this one was 229. I think the other one, the next one was 250 or maybe 299. And then the larger one of them all, I think was maybe 350. I bought those at, at home recently. I believe they still have a couple of them in and they are so beautiful. You need to rush and go get them. And you can use this for anything here. You can put some alcohol in there if you wanted to. You could put some oils in there or you can just use them just to display, you know, on a table, on a coffee table, on a credenza, on some floating shelves. You don't necessarily need to put something inside them. I'm just displaying them on our floating shelves and they're just serving that function. But if you wanted to, you could definitely put like your whiskeys or your gin in there if you wanted to present something or serve something from them. Really beautiful and you want to make sure you put them in an area that nobody can touch because it's going to be a sad day if someone breaks them. They're so pretty. So I definitely picked those up and I'm really, really happy with them. The next item I wanted to show you guys is this. Um, what would I call this? This is a display tray i've got a lot of these i actually love collecting these so this is uh, my recently my recently purchased one this i got from at home so what i do is i keep all of our pastries in here it would usually be on our kitchen counter with some pastries croissants donuts whatever it is that we're having that time i'd usually have this on the counter the kids know to get whatever they need from there and it's really just a styling moment and i think it's so beautiful to come and see some freshly baked goods in this it's really a beautiful thing i got this from at home as well and uh, i think it was maybe 450 i can't remember the exact price but less than 500 dollars so this also one of my favorite products the next item i wanted to show you guys is this tray this is just this brass tray from at home as well this was 299 love this i love the detail inside i was actually quite surprised by how cheap it is i thought it was quite cheap and i'm going to be using this to just serve my guests when i've got guests over i can serve them drinks from here i can put a nice tea towel on here when i'm serving tea and um, uh, it's very sensitive so you need to make sure that you're just wiping it down with a cloth it's not something that you'd put in the dishwasher or submerge in water because it's brass so you you may damage it so you want to make sure that if you purchase this you just make sure you treat it uh, properly and don't expose it to too much water but i love it i love it's sturdy it's not going to break if it falls down you just pick it right back up and use it again so whenever i find something that's brass made i'm always always keen on purchasing it just because of the fact that i've got kids kids break things and these things are unbreakable so highly highly recommend let's move on to the next one all right, Rafikis, I hope you guys are watching Bridgerton. I love that show. I love the vibe. I love the fashion. I love the lifestyle. Ooh, I would be, I would have been so, I would have been such a boss baby in the 1800s. And I, 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 I sometimes wish that I could experience that. Really, that, that lifestyle is just me. Tea all day, every day, all the time. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so this I picked up in honor of Bridgerton. So um, I'm getting into the tea hosting thing. I'm half Kenyan. And if you're Kenyan, you know that we love our tea. We love our chai, right? So this I purchased is basically a three-tier dish, three-tier three -tier cupcake stand. Sorry, let me just make sure. Okay, so this is basically a three-tier cupcake stand. Uh, basically, I would use this at tea time. I would put my sandwiches at the bottom over here, maybe some scones on here, and then some pastries over here. And it's really dainty. It's got this blue detail, this nice turquoise detail inside there and I just keep this for my special guests when I've got people over and I can serve them in this and it's really a moment it just shows that you've put in some effort into presenting your products and I can't wait to use it I've actually recorded a video with a friend of mine Charlotte where we had tea and I lost some of that footage so I'm trying to salvage that video so I can post it and show you guys how I present and prepare my tea time so I'm really excited about that and if I don't find to manage to find it I will definitely still do a video where I show you guys how to to set up tea and how to you know the etiquette involved in it and just how to make it a, a moment and an experience for your guests so yeah really excited about this and i'm going to be using it a lot especially because we're going into winter 
Okay, Rafiki, so we're going into the next part of our video. I'm now going to be sharing with you guys some fashion purchases and some skincare purchases. I think I'll start with the fashion. Just some of the things that I've been purchasing that are already uh, getting me into winter, some things that I've made investments in, and just introducing you to new products, especially locally made products. The first item I want to show you guys are these shoes, are these mules. If you know me, then you know that I love black. I'm a very monochromatic girl. I love black. I love white. I like nudes, but I especially love flat, uh, flat shoes. So most of the time, you'll see me in flat shoes and I happen to love mules so these are some mules that I picked up recently uh, actually a colleague of mine uh, Vista put me on to these these are mules uh, these beautiful black mules they've got this stretchy material yeah it stretches inside and I got these from um, shoe city it was my first time purchasing shoes from them didn't know that they've got really good shoes and they were 239 they're really cool uh, I love that I can wear these at home I can like lounge with them, but I can also wear them if I was like, let's say running an errand to the mall or something. Really love these and they're nice and flat, comfortable, and they are black, which is a bonus for me. So I really love these and I picked these up from Shoe City. Some other pairs of shoes that I also purchased from there, let me just take them off, are these. These are just house slippers. It's winter, you want to be warm, you want to be comfortable. And these are this brown fur, faux fur slippers really love these you can see the material and what i love about them is that the the bottom the sole is quite sturdy so these are shoes that i could also wear outside and not feel you know embarrassed by it so uh, they've got that green cross kind of vibe there underneath love that and these were also i think the same price i think these were 299 um a little bit pricier to be honest because the slippers that i normally buy i love I don't think I had more than $200, so it was a little bit more than I usually pay for slippers, for house slippers, but I was happy to part with that because, like I said, the base, the sole, the sole of the shoe is quite good and quite sturdy, and I think I'll be able to wear these for more than two seasons, so really happy with this purchase, also from Shoe City. Okay, Rafiki's, um, the next item I wanted to show you guys is this book. This is a book called Black Skin. I picked this up yesterday. Uh, from exclusive books. Uh, I was intrigued by the title and I went and I read about it. So it's basically a celebration of black skin, what it means to have black skin and how to take care of it, you know. Uh, when you take off the sleeve, this is how that looks like. So this can also be used as a coffee table book. But the information in inside, inside of this book is of course more valuable. And we've got some beautiful imagery of just some black woman there just some facts about what it means to take care of our skin and you know this really excites me because for the longest time we've just been taught about how to take care of white hair white skin so i'm really excited to see something like this on our bookshelves and i had to pick this up especially now that i'm a mother of a daughter it's very important for me to make sure that what i'm feeding my child and what i'm giving my child is representative of her so i'm really excited to understand the radical black beauty movement you know what inspires Inspires black skin, the products that work for us, the products that don't work for us, so that I'm making, you know, decisions when I'm going shopping and it translates into my consumer habits. So really excited for this book. I got this from Exclusive Books, and this was how much? This was 368. Uh, very excited to be reading this, and and I'm really looking forward to, you know, just trying some of these things that I'm going to be learning in here and experimenting them on my own skin and on my daughter's skin. So pick this up, highly recommend. It's really time that we start taking care of our skin with products that are made by people who look the same as us. So I'm really a big advocate for this and I can't wait to dig into it. All right, Rafiki, so we're getting into the skincare stuff now. I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I'm using to keep my skin looking fresh and crisp and some of my beauty products, my favorite beauty products and makeup products. The first item I wanted to show you guys under this is my Estee Lauder. I don't know if you guys were able to see this, but it's my Estee Lauder Double Wear Mascara. So I've got very short and curly eyelashes. So my friend Albertina put me onto this in 2015, and I haven't looked back any, uh, haven't looked back since. This is the mascara for black girls with short, curly, barely there eyelashes. And this mascara lasts me about three months. I just picked this up today. It's actually 20% off at Edgar's at the Estee Lauder counter. Tell Toivo I sent you if you go and pick this up. So I got this on 20% off. It's not it's not cheap. It's about 
400 and something on a, the normal price of it, but it's, 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 it's the only mascara you need. Once you start using this, you won't want to look anywhere else for mascara. Highly, highly, highly recommend. It's the mascara to use when you're not in the mood for wearing eyelashes. If you've got really short curly eyelashes, it really, really extends and, you know, just makes your eyes pop. So really recommend this one. Hey Rafikis, um, please bear with me. The lighting is really bad. It's a very cloudy day. This is the best that I can do for you guys in terms of lighting. Please bear with me. And let's just try and push through to finish this video. All right. So the next item I wanted to show you guys are these gorgeous new stilettos I got, darling. These are from Algos. Oh, I love these. So these are a brown, beautiful brown, like a chocolate brown color. And they've got this little detail here in the front and i wore these on i think on monday at a launch at a celebration and they were so comfortable i was really comfortable uh, they were beautiful they're sexy got these from aldo and they're really just the statement that my wardrobe needed so i'm really excited to be wearing these for winter really good sturdy shoe leather quality made and i know i'm gonna keep these for a while you can never go wrong with aldo stilettos quality is always top tier the next item I wanted to show you guys are these, hold on, these loafers. These are my gorgeous loafers from Poetry. I'm a size 7. I was able to pick these up. I hope you guys can see them. Let me just try and, can you guys see them? Okay. So I picked these up from Poetry in a size 7, leather made. I can't remember the price, but um, uh, I think they were just a little bit over a thousand dollars. Picked these up. I wore them the other day with a leather skirt, some stockings and a blazer and oof, it looked beautiful. Really good shoes. I'm going to have these for a very, very long time. And that's the beauty when you invest in good quality leather products. You can wear them over and over and over every year. So these are really highly recommend, especially for winter. Guys, the light is blinding me. I'm going to need to see how I can figure this thing out. Just give me a second. Hey Rafiki, so you'll notice that I look a little bit different. It's the next day. My battery ran out and I just couldn't catch the light anymore. So it's the next day, it's in the morning and I'm just going to continue from where we left off. I'd like to start by showing you guys this gorgeous throw that I picked up from Poetry. This two-tone throw. I saw this and it was love at first sight. This is how that looks like. And I just have this thrown over the couch. Um, I'm just about to do... Um, a restyling of our patio area and I always like to have blankets over there uh, throw blankets just in case we've got someone who's feeling a little bit chilly love the color scheme it goes right with the theme there it's a nude it's a little bit of a cream and I love it it's not too thick not too thin so I can use it during every type of season and I really like this and I think even if I, if I wanted to I could actually use this like as a scarf like a scarf um, over an outfit or something like that but really like this i was really happy with this because uh throws they don't make good quality throws anymore i've had some that i've picked up from mr price home i've put them in the washing machine and they've just disintegrated so i'm really hoping that this is uh this hand woven one is gonna hold uh the test of time and really serve me for a long time so really excited about this so the next items i wanted to show you guys are just skincare products some of my favorites for winter i'll start you guys off with this uh zamar green tea skin serum this is from Yoni Day Spa. If you guys are familiar with Yoni Day Spa, these are some of the products that they produce under the Zamar brand. I love this, especially in winter. In winter, it's especially important to keep moisturized because the weather dries out our skin. So this is something I always have on hand. It's got this little dropper. You just put some on your hand and you, you know, just lay that into your face and it feels so, so good. I go to bed feeling so moisturized and my, feel, my skin feels so plump. So highly recommend this and it's quite affordable. I don't think I paid any more than $300 for this. Black owned Namibian business uh, owned business and I really love to support that. So I'm really, really excited about continuing to use this and I've really seen the results. And it also smells really good and very relaxing. So I highly recommend this uh, Zamar Green Tea Skin Serum. The next item I wanted to show you guys is this. So this is the Chanel Body Cream. So this is actually a very interesting story. Uh, I purchased this from Truwards. Uh, Truwards sells Chanel products. I think it's Truwards and Edgar's and Namibia. And I actually thought I was buying a perfume. I think I just looked at the the outer box and I just assumed it was perfume. So get to the counter and I lay by it. Put in my lay by. I'm, ooh, guys, 
Let's quickly have a moment. I am a person who believes in labor, hey? <laughs> if I want something and I can't afford it, I lay by it. So I do that all the time. I lay by perfumes, I lay by clothes, I lay by winter clothes, I lay by everything. I'm not even embarrassed about it, I'm not even ashamed. I am a lay by queen. So I lay by this. So this was quite expensive. Once I realized that I, this is cream, it's not perfume, I was like, oh. So do I put it back? Okay, that's gonna be shady. Let me just continue. So I got my cream, but I've got this to say, it's a beautiful cream. Uh, really thick the consistency is really thick and it uh, when I use it under my perfume it really amplifies the perfume of that so I like to use it in conjunction with my Chanel perfumes I've got the Chanel Gabrielle I've got the Chanel Tend Tender if I'm pronouncing that correctly and I love to use that together with this I'm going to use this very 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 what's the word um I'm going to be saying with this because it was a very expensive cream and once it's finished i'm just going to top it with my nevia or whatever it is that i'm using ain't nobody gotta know so really <laughs> it was definitely a spurge but now that i have it it's beautiful it's definitely a beautiful aesthetic it's a beautiful bottle but definitely one of those things that i'm using like once a month when i feel like i've earned it so yeah excited about that the next item is this um this is my hand cream this is the hand cream that i keep in my handbag so this is a apothecary lemongrass in verbana i got this from at home and it's a nice size i like the bottle i love the packaging uh lemongrass is actually my favorite scent i usually have lemongrass in my candles and i thought to try it out on as, as a hand cream really happy with it it's nice and small and it's also something that you need in your handbag especially because we're going into winter and all this constant sanitizing our hands really dries out our hands so i've been using this and it really makes the difference i love that my hands look feminine my hands feel moisturized and it's just a matter of putting this on all right, Rafikis, the next item I wanted to show you guys is what I'm going to be wearing, the perfume I'm going to be wearing mostly for uh, winter. So this is the Guerlain Bois Mysteria, Mysterious, and I just want to read you guys the, the notes of this. It's a beautiful scent. I'm not very florally. I don't like floral scents. I don't like sweet scents. I'm usually the person, I'm usually drawn to unisex scents, something smoky, something leathery, something amber, patchouli. That's really what attracts me. So this was really a beautiful find. I picked it up at Starter First. I'm going to be wearing it the whole time. My husband has taken notice of it and I'm really, really excited to be wearing this. And it's one of those scents you put it on today, it's still smelling on your clothes tomorrow after you've washed them. This is a 125 milliliter bottle. So really a good sized bottle for a good uh, uh, price. And I'm really excited about this. And it's also an eau de parfum, so extra concentrated. So I just wanted to read you guys uh, what the notes of this are. And the top notes are the laurels and neroli. Middle notes are atlas, cedar, patchouli, and jasmine. And the base notes are myrrh and leather. Really, really love this. Like I said, it's unisex. So I can use it. My husband can also sneak in there and just take some of this to use himself really really lovely perfume uh long lasting and i'm really really impressed uh, it's not something that i've smelled on anyone before if you know me if you follow me on instagram you know that i've been struggling with my sense of smell since i got corona two years ago it hasn't come back fully i'm still at about um 75 percent capacity so it takes something really impressive and strong and you know to really make an impact on my nose uh the floral scents like i said anything light i don't pick up at all it's, it's like smelling water so that's where i am right now but this journey of uh, discovering new scents has really been helpful in helping me just to develop my sense of smell again the next item i wanted to show you guys are these these are my uh, number three five four Nikes uh, got these love the color picked these up from sports scene in Swakop Moon sports scene Swakop Moon actually has some really good stock I think Swakop Moon shops really have good stock stuff that we don't even get here in Ventuk so I got these on sale uh, I love them look at that detail uh, the orange and the brown and the tan and the white really this is definitely my favorite sneaker right now uh, I think they were two thousand dollars I got them on sale I think for 1.2 uh, so I was really impressed with that and I wear these all the time I wear this I was wearing them when I went out to run errands yesterday um, and I wear them if I'm going for a walk just really good lifestyle sneakers and I'm really happy about the color the color is especially what I love Another item that I forgot to show you guys under the home decor, uh, guys, is this mirror, this uh, aged brass mirror. So this I picked up from, this I picked up from at home. 
Uh, I needed a mirror inside our guest bedroom, which is where I'm filming from now. I needed a guest a mirror because the one that was here I put upstairs uh, at my husband's uh, dressing area. So I needed to replace that and I picked this up and I really love the brass details. I love that it's an aged type of brass and I love the shape. It's nice and feminine and just a nice little feature. And I basically just keep that over there and it works okay Rafikis we are getting to the end of this video I want to show you two last items the first one being this beautiful summer bag this is a canvas bag that I picked up from poetry poetry should really consider making me a brand ambassador because yo I am doing the most in that shop <laughs> the ladies actually know me like when I walk past and I don't go inside they're like ah Mrs. Jacobs come back I'm like mm -mm. guys you people are trapped I never come in there and not buy anything so I'm trying to stay out of poetry for a little bit guys but this is a beautiful canvas and faux leather bag that I purchased there definitely a summer bag so I'm going to wait to use this but I love the detail I love the brown this faux leather detail over here for the handle and then on this side you've got a little pocket on the outside here that you can probably put your phone in and then on the inside it just looks like so really happy about this um, it wasn't I think it was $750 if I'm not mistaken I just need to take extra care not to dirtify it because I know this canvas material really picks up dirt so yeah really excited about that and last but not least the favorite thing I wanted to show you guys today is my Cova Namibia bag this is my Cova my Kova bag. This is a leather bag. This is a must-have. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over. It's a beautiful Namibian brand. Woman-owned, black woman-owned, uh, Dr. Petrina, and I just love what she's done with this brand. So this is my second Kova bag. It's in this dark brown, this chocolatey brown, real leather, and I love the emblem over there in that gold. And um, I first purchased my first one, I think, in... 2020 and then I wanted to start growing my collection so every year I'm going to start I'm going to add a, um, a, a cover bag to my collection and it's beautifully made it's a tote bag a tote bag is definitely a staple in any classic wardrobe and this is how it looks like inside and mine has a zip I opted for the one with the zip just for security extra security and I love this bag because it's Namibian owned like I said and for me guys being a business owner myself, I know the importance of supporting local. I know that when we buy local, there's somebody out there who does a little happy dance. There's somebody out there whose family you're fed. And I know that a lot of people, a lot of us really put our heart and soul into our businesses. So whenever I've got an opportunity to, and whenever I've got a choice between a locally produced product and international produced product, best believe I'm going to go local. Especially when it's black owned and women owned, I'm, I'm for it. So this is a highly recommended purchase. Cova Namibia, I will link them down in the description box. I've got another brown one. This is my second purchase and it's definitely a must have. And the price was really okay, guys. The price was really okay, considering that this is leather and it's aging so beautifully. The patina on this looks so beautiful. And leather is one of those things you spend a little bit of money in the beginning and then you're sorted for life, you know. It lasts and it's, it's, it's just a classic cut. It's just a timeless piece and it's definitely something that you want to have in your wardrobe. Mother's Day is coming up, so if you haven't gotten your mom something really really good in a while then this is definitely something that you can look at this is not a sponsored video i just love the product and shout out to dr petrina thank you for making us beautiful consciously made handbags that we as namibians can be proud to wear you know all right rafikis i think that's it that's it for today's video i'm happy to have finally done this and i'm happy that you guys watched until the end i hope you were able to get some inspiration for some items to buy and how to use them and style them i will see you guys as soon as i'm able to again my life is so hectic but i do try to make the time um to do these videos for you guys and i do appreciate every time you watch them it makes me feel so happy thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video ciao